Good morning and welcome to the Truck and Scribe. It's Esther. Today I'm going to take a number 10 envelope and I'm going to turn it into a journal. This one does not have the cover on it yet, but we're going to do the first part of putting the um, envelopes together and collaging it. And then I'm going to have another video of putting the cover on and we'll work on ephemera and some more videos after that, but this is um, so expandable. So if you go look at Corey's uh, Crafting with Scraps, she's got a gratitude journal that's similar. And then Janet Casey, she does absolutely fantastic work in my Facebook group, Junk Journaling with the Truck and Scribe. She posted one, and that's where I first saw these books. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know what you think. If you're going to try and make one, if you're going to make a, if you'd like a big one or a small one. I even I have this coffee dyed, something dyed paper. I think these would look good in it too, but I hadn't got that far. So thank you and have a great weekend. The other day, Janet Casey posted a gratitude journal in my junk journaling group, junk journaling with the truck and scribe. It was so pretty and it used envelopes. So I've already cut these to help a little bit, but I have 500 Number 10 envelopes. I'm using new ones. Um, and what I did is I just cut it down to six inches by the width of the. Actually, I don't have an extra one left out because I put these together while I was waiting on the printer. But these are the other half. I'm going to show you how we put these together in just a second. Corey with Creating with Scraps had a tutorial. Went over there and I looked at hers and she was saying she used little glassine envelopes, just little small ones. And she said that if you cut the top off because of the way that they are opening, actually this would be the front, so you have nothing there to support that top, which makes sense, definitely makes sense. But I was thinking, I bet I could work around that. So what I did was I collaged this top part closed. I'm going to open these the, the way that makes sense to me. Corey, I may have opened them this way, I'm not sure. But I know she had a certain way that she wanted them open when she got started. And these still have the little sticky papers. I took them off for one of them that I did. And it's more trouble than just leaving them on. So I'm leaving them on. I'm not sure. I think I have about 16 here. So I did make this journal already, and it's still in my suitcase because my sister talked me in going on a cruise last week, my first ever, and it was not a fun trip. Well, it was a fun trip, but everybody was nauseated because the boat was rocking. I was the only one that wasn't nauseated. But. So I'm going to take my first envelope. And I've opened them all, and they're all facing the same way with their tabs. And what I did was I put my tab part down. Then I took, I'm going to move that over there, and glued right along this edge. And I did cut these, pre-cut them. Let me see. Yeah. So then I'm going to go in like this. And what I'm doing to get them to straighten up a little bit is with that wet glue, I got a little bit of wiggle room, not much. Let's see. I'm not getting started pretty good here, am I? So I'm tapping that down. 
and then squishing that glue. So see we have a top, we got two together, they're actually fairly straight. I'm going to do that with all of them. You don't want to go all the way up here, just where your glue is. So we just keep going like this. And you know, envelopes are not perfect because machines are not perfect. But I think some folks think they are, but unfortunately they are oftentimes guided by humans. And either way they go, whether it's an automated system or it's making an envelope system, uh, a human being actually worked on that. So it's looking pretty good so far. I'm just taking glue right here by the end, and I'm not even coming up here. I'm just really gluing the flap right now to where it goes in there. So when I put it in, I go ahead and fold it over, and that's when I pick it up to, to try and get that down where I want it instead of trying to fight with this. It will go on down if you get it just right. There, that's that one. And if you like to collage, this is a perfect collaging journal. So just continue doing this. You get them all done. I think I should go where we go. The one I'm going to do first. I'm going to go ahead and ink right here while it's before I start putting it together. It'll be easier. All this is going to be covered up. So I have 16. The way I'm going to do this, and it could go either way. You could do this as your front, or you can do this as your front. Open that direction. So I'm going to do this in half. So I'm going to use this ink, this glue on the outside or inside, but I'm going to also use the wet glue. I feel like I don't really trust the The stick glue and it is I am using Amazon so it's the cheaper kind but it gives it such a thicker thicker kind of paper so what I'm going to do is actually I'm a little bit too far I want maybe a quarter of an inch half an inch to overlap and then right here I want about let's see. I would say that's about an eighth of an inch from the, the fold. So, you see I got it right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off this top. Probably being generous here. Make some stuff. So I, yeah, I need a little bit less. On that one. So maybe about a quarter of an inch, half an inch. This one's half an inch. So you can do a half an inch. But what you need to do is trim your corners. But see right here where I've got the end of my... So you got this edge this edge on your envelope you go just like 
maybe less than an eighth of an inch from your paper right there. Just kind of come into it. I usually do it by, I do it by eye, so I think it's a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. And I'm going to do that on both sides. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take my phone folder and gently have my fingers there. Actually, we can use a ruler to give that lip so you can get your paper to fold over real nice. Now right there with the, the little edge up, it's better to start it with my finger. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use this glue, which I think is a little better. And you can start on either side. I just seem to do it this way. So what you're doing, see I got a little too big of a, an angle on that. So let me trim it off just a little bit more on this side. See right here. Let's see if I can't zoom in. Over here, I've got a little bit too much. It's not going to hurt anything. But if you get too close, when you fold this over, then it's going to look bad. And this one doesn't look too bad. Let me trim it that way and see. Yeah. And it's going to get covered up with the back layer of paper anyway. So I'm using collage paper from Rach and Villa Crafts. And it's pretty. I'm a little lift up right here that I'm gonna use this. I don't quite get. Okay. So there is our first page. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go through here. And we're going to cover all these pages. We're going to leave this side alone. We're going to work. Make sure you stay away from this edge over here. And be careful down here because you can get glue in that little area that's open. And I'll show you on the next one specifically how to. So again, I'm just judging it's not going to be perfect. Not right there. Keep this cut because we're going to need that later. Now I'm going to come a little closer this time and I'm going to cut some of this off. I don't need that quite that much. Same here. And then I'm going to keep my edges. And as you go up, it does get easier because you got that one before it to kind of guide you. Once again, I'm still getting not quite enough off those edges that I want to. And I'll tell you, if you do make a mistake and cut too close, save these little corners and just glue it in right there. And when you close it, it will cut. It will. It won't be as noticeable. Okay. 
this is going to be similar to the way we do the cover. So by the time we get there, you'll become, you should be familiar more with how we're going to cover the cover. Because we're going to wrap it just like this. So now if you've cut this right, you want to kind of pull that little bit of paper in. You may not see it, but it's there. You know, I'd like one of those on the front. What we want to do is cut another envelope so I can put one on the front because I didn't even think about that. So now what I'm going to do. That, how do it? This part goes in here, right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even plan on my front page. I don't know what I was thinking, but we can fix it. We'll just add another one. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is color that side. And then I want to see who's going to fit on my front page good. Let's see. She's pretty good. She fit her little feet to get cut off. So, you think that she look alright like that? And so I save her and put her in the envelope. Because what I'm going to do is also make a flip envelope. Either way, I like her there, so I might leave her there. She's going to be too big. So, I like this one again. She's really going to be too tall. But, I may be able to get her on here. Okay. I think I'm going to put her right there for now because we can print out another one if I need to. Okay, she looks kind of tall too. Her feet will get cut off, but she fits better, doesn't she? So when you're gluing, I was going to show you, when you're gluing, especially um, open edge like over here, glue, pull the glue towards that edge. Don't go like this because that will put glue up in that. And I'm bad about doing that wrong, so you know, don't listen to me too much. Don't do what I do. So I can tell you, but then I wind up doing it differently. 
I get over way too quickly. Really want her down as far as I can get her so I can see her shoes. Let me get up to it. No more of that shoes and I ain't getting it on there a lot. It's about much. So I have a little white down here. I'm not going to worry about that because we're going to cut it off. And if you notice, I cut these a little tall, so I could have trimmed them down even more. I wanted to save the paper. So if you have a size that you would prefer. Tip mover. There's her little feet. Maybe you won't cover up too much. I'm going to do this side first. Fingers. You see, it doesn't even have to be cut the right way. Straight. It would be nice to lay it down halfway straight there. Where it will lay flat. I'm talking to myself. So I'm going to try and push that a little bit in. Yeah, I think next time I would measure a little bit just because it's all the same size. So I would measure this paper, my envelope size, and then do a quarter of an inch to half an inch on the outside. But that looks, she looks pretty. She's pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's see what we're going to put back here. And as we go, it is going to start stretching see this is why we don't want to get too close because that will open up see how wide we can get but if we put it too far over here we're covering up too much of that back opening because this here is where the the extra if you look over here this is where the extra little bit of room comes in and we can do some pockets I'm going to save her till later. If you use both the wet glue and the glue stick, it helps you know, when your envelope is kind of going to warp, but it helps to be able to move Keep your paper some slippage if you need to 
and do it. And right here, it's a good idea to go ahead and just kind of hold it up to where it'll flatten down and do this. That way when you glue them down, they're not. I got too much of it here. These little strips would make good pieces for master board when we get done. Even the little triangles, if you save them, they can go in a master board. Now I'm not fishing hard when I do this. I'm holding the edge of the envelope down. So I don't want to bend my envelope. I just want this to roll over the edge and look good. Got out too much here too. So I think today we're going to do cooking in a journal together. And then maybe tomorrow, over the next week, we can work on putting stuff, the pockets and stuff in it. Because I did do that cool envelope pocket that I put on the front of the other one. Okay. I don't know if y'all want to sit and watch this much. I'm going to put this on all like this the whole time. So I finished the first, the face. This part of the page all the way through. So, however many you've got, you can. I have 16 envelopes, so I did 16 fronts. And all the way through. So, if you want to do five, you can do five. You can probably do 30 if you want 30. What I did, because I need where we go. I need you to measure to get this little square right here. So um right here, a little bit off of the edge, and then a little bit closer in right here. So what I came up with was three and seven eighths. And the same thing going up and down. I want to give myself just a itty bitty bit of room, and so we're still at five and seven eighths. So three and seven eighths, five and seven eighths is what I cut my paper to for my six by four inch journal. And this is how it's going to go along here. I'm going to try and do my best to line up with this here if I can. If not. You would just do something different. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the glue on the back of these. I, I like that, but I don't know if I want that much. So I like these pretty little girls. She would look good there, wouldn't she? Yeah. If I, so I'm going to take my glue and I'm rubbing it outwards away from the edges because if you go like this, it's going to put glue on the edges of your, underneath your paper on the front. Now I'm going to do some wet glue. That way it has a little slippage and I can move it around a little bit longer, especially with this. Scott Brown. So what I didn't do, and I just realized I did not color her pink feet ends sticking to the mouth. So right here I didn't quite get over enough, which is okay. 
Me voy a escanar. Y me queda como aquí. Pero... Está bien más para allá. You can notice I have a little here. I got a little crooked, but no crooked. But that's that's the way I wanted it. Is what you say. It's not crooked. It's the way you wanted it. So I'm gonna go to the next page. I'm gonna decide if I should go ahead and I think I should be able to get that. Cause see, I didn't get those either. So again, I'm gonna go. From the inside out with my glue. Try and hold this down so it don't. And I did not look to see if this one is a good one for that page. I guess we just I'll have to look real quick. It will work. So where I'm looking at is right here. And right in there. Which is still it's crooked, but it's the way I want it. That's the charm of it. So that's how we get the second page. So for this part of the journal, I'm gonna do this, then tomorrow or the next video will be putting the covers on it. Oh, one goes. That be too much. I put her on that one. Okay. I want to order some more of this because I like it. I do like the Amazon brand too when I'm using both glue stick and wet glue. I like it because I can see where I got it at. This I like because it does seem to catch easier. Let's see. Turn this this way and see if that helps. Yeah, it does actually. Open it just a little. Oh, I'll put it at the right angle where I can see it better. So they're not sticking anymore. I say that. That one is a little bit. So I think this might look good here. See how I'm going out from the middle out. I forget sometimes when I get all crazy with my glue and I know better. And I cry because my underneath my paper I got glue on it. I'm really excited about this. I gotta get it together and then so that means I need to do the cover before I post this video. I don't want to wait too late because if I do, Christmas will be over. Although you can do this after Christmas. So, Let's I'll save her for a while. Because we're going to be putting pockets in here. So I'm going to save her. So if we're putting pockets and stuff on those pages, I'm going to want to. Not put anything on. Or I don't know. I probably will cover up some of them, but some of them I want to see the beautiful artwork. 
So usually that's my problem when I do this. And I use videos like that and see how I slid it just a little bit right here to get it down far enough when you put that wet glue on it. When you get it on there you can kind of push it around. So what we need to do on the back, we need a flap like this. It's going to be part of our so when we, when I glue this down, this is two pieces right here. And there is some paper that goes a little ways that attaches and holds the covers on. So what I want to do, see what do I have over here. I want to leave the edge. So I still want it this length, but I want it to go a little bit further. I could. Keep the one and glue that under there. So that you go. It's not going to see much of that. So I'm not going to do a lot of glue, just enough to put this on that corner to make a tag. Just like the front. I actually need it to go in enough that it's not going to stick my paper down. So I'm just going to trim it off. So you won't see that when you get done. It's going to be inside the one that folded just about the same. So I have one left. I got two. All right, this one can't go. Let's not go on this one because I might have to move it. So that is our journal. Let it dry while this glue. But it will open up so how much more it opens and you put them together and the top's covered and they're attached. It's gonna be a nice journal. So I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. I'm going to let this dry and this will get thicker. We can, um, we may cut a little sliver off of one or two of these to have little side tucks. But we will work on the cover in the next video. If you're new here, it'd be great if you hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And whether you're new or old, not old, new or been here a while, um, it'd be great if you hit the like button, the comment button, and leave me a comment what you think about this. Make sure to go over there and see Corey's video that she did with the glassine bags like this.